this video, I'm going to show you how to build an algo that trades for you 24 seven, 365 using GitHub Copilot and ChatGPT to do the hard stuff. So this is pretty cool because we have AI these days that helps us build anything that are, we want. So you can see here, it's been building a trading algorithm for me. And I don't know about you, but when I was a hand trader, I used to get emotional and that's where my biggest losses came in is when I would, you know, try to buy because I had FOMO or sell because I was scared. So I thought, hey, why not just have a bot do this for me? And I'm not trained in coding or anything like that. So uh, if you feel like you can't do it, I, I just want to ensure you that you can because I'm just a regular dude as well. And I'll just show you the way here in this video. Uh, by the way, I am giving away $500 USDC on April 30th. If you want to enter to win that, all you have to do is subscribe and let me know below what are you working on. And I'm just curious to see what everybody's working on. It's always fun to hear. So I'll give away $500 USDC to one person who subscribes and comments that below. So we're gonna dive into this bot that we've been building. And if this all looks foreign to you, don't worry because it was once foreign to me as well. And you'll, you'll catch up, especially with the ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot that will help us out. And you'll be able to see how it helps throughout here. So we're at this point where we just made a bot that opens orders in the supply and demand zones, but is only looking for a tiny bit of profit and then is going to uh, close the orders now. So let's go ahead and mark this out because this was a funding skipper that we built earlier. This will get the position info. This all looks good. And I think the last thing we need to do is make sure that the PL close here. Uh, let's do PL close lick. Let's call it that because we're going to make a new function that is called this. So it's underscore lick. I'll just go to my original PL close. And from there, we will be able to build out this PL close lick. So let's copy this over here. The whole function. I know it's long. And I could make it much easier, look much better, I'm sure, I'm sure, but we are going to make it shorter here. Wow, that's a long one. Okay, so that's some dirty code, but that's okay. We can have ChatGPT later uh, just make it better for us. Actually, let's have them do it now. Let's say refactor this code. And I can just show you some of the power here. It might be too long for it, actually. Please refactor this code here. Uh, it's too long. Something went wrong. Let's try this. Try to just refresh. Please refact. Please refactor this code. Might be too long for it. No. All right. So it's going to refactor that. Here's the refactored code. And now we're gonna call this uh, PL lick. And we're gonna go through and make sure that it's a liquidity close instead of a regular close. So first things first, if size is over zero, then it's in position is true. PL percentage, it gets the PL percentage. Size, okay, it does that. The size chunker, we actually don't need this anymore, so I'm gonna delete it. And then while PL is over PL percentage, this is us exiting on the long side. And we actually need to make that a liquidity close. So let's go figure out our liquidity close on the short side first. Not on the short side, but the uh, the losing side, because I already have that built. Wow, this is making it way nicer. <laughs> I like it. I like it so far. Anyways, let's say while PL close. If side is long, we're going to just do the lit close right away. Entering 
lit clothes. What is all this? Why does it keep? Let's move all this over one and delete this. If PL close, if side is long, get PL percentage. Cancel all orders. I think we did it. I think that's it. And then it's just going to loop through here. Do a market order. Now we're going to do the same thing for the short. So here we'll just scroll down and we'll move all of this over. Wow, that was so much easier than I anticipated. I love code because of this reason here. You can just copy and paste stuff. All right. Entering in the lick grab. So this will get us out ASAP if we're losing. And that's perfect because that's what we wanted to do. This right here is the code for it. So I'll give you a second to uh, snapshot it if you want it. If you want it, you better be quick. Well, I'm changing all the code anyway, so I'll just I'll show you it later. I also put it all in the boot camp, and there's a link for that here. Just go here, and I actually teach this stuff instead of just do, because I'm kind of just doing right now. Okay, so we want to do the same thing here, but for the uh, close. For the, uh, not the close, but the, uh, how do I say it? Come on, brain. Come on, brain. For the winning position. So this was losing position. As you can see here, while PL is under max loss or kill switch is true. But what if we're in a winning position? Still going to cancel all orders. Still getting the side, the size. But here, we're going to paste this in. And we don't need to ask for it anymore. Side is long. I love his side is short. I think this is great now. So since this is good now, we can test it. And how do we test it? Well, let's just run the main bot. I think we're done. I really do. So let's run it. And we're not in position, so I'm going to get into position. And just do uh, 1. It's 1 ETH. 0 0.0. 0 0.01. Just place a market buy order. And then it's filled pull over our position here and we'll see what happens. Maybe an error somewhere, probably. Entering lit grab. Did it say that? Let's go ahead and read this. 0 0.0096. Uh, I kind of want to see this though. See target print. I kind of want to make these stars so I can see them. Or not stars. Oh my god, am I getting sick? I think I might be. I just felt that feeling in the back of your throat. I really hope not. I got a lot of coding I want to do here. Please, please put out good wishes for me. Ask bid. This needs to be. Oh, it needs to be changed in two places. Maybe even more. Because now it's all of this. And 
now we want to go back to ask bid and change this to this. Change that to this. I added a bunch more into my my function, my ask bid function. So it kind of broke things, honestly. I don't know why we need the ask bid though. Whatever. Because we're doing market orders, right? Okay, that should be fine now. It should get us out because I think we're we've hit the the uh, the uh, size we need. Target P and L is not defined. Line one four seven six. It is defined though, buddy. One four. Oh, I actually took it out. Daily max loss. One four seven six. Okay, I see what's going on. So maybe I should calculate this earlier, and I will. Does that make sense though? One four seven six. Let's see if it shows anywhere else. One four seven six. One four seven six. Sleep check, don't need that. It's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Where is this? Current minute funding skipper. We don't even need funding skipper for this bot, so I'm just gonna get it out of here. Okay. And then here is where we're running into the error. So 1476, I'm just going to go ahead and rewrite this uh, code because, not rewrite it, but I'm just going to put it in here just because oh, I guess I can put it right up here though. Dax daily max loss. I'll just put it right here. And then put the target PL equals there. And then I'll put target PL and max loss right there. And then we'll pass these in to the actual function. Oh, I'm getting hungry. 11.30. Target PL. Okay. Now this should work, hopefully. Size is zero. How is size zero? About to place an order for zero point zero ETH. Okay, limit order, size. Huh, I wonder why in position. So we're about to create a limit order. Size is 0 0.01. Size 
size is zero, it says there. So let's figure out where that is going wrong. Okay, it's here. Size chunker. I don't need the size chunker anymore. So I'm just going to get rid of it wherever it's getting called. Chunk size. Where is this? PL close, but I'm not calling it PL close. Oh, I am actually in that one. In the daily max loss. So let's go to daily max loss. That's where we're getting hicked up. Hicked up. Daily max loss. So I've got a daily max loss just in case things go awry. And I'll put the lick close in there instead. So that's what we just built. PL close lick. Licky. All right. Let's see if it closes us now. Entering lick grab. Okay, we're getting closer. Size must be a positive numeric string. PL percentage is point zero one three. Target PL. In position is true. You know what? I think I'm going to remove this daily loss thing because I think it's going in there and doing some things that I'm not quite sure of and I don't really need it for now until I blow up. <laughs> All right, let's run this again. Just trying to see where that came from. So target PL. Okay, so it's not happening there. PL percentage. Oh, you know what I did wrong here? Is this needs to be percentage. So percentage move. So this needs to be multiplied by 100 because this isn't quite a percentage yet. This is percentage move times 100, then that equals that, I believe. Okay, so I think that's gonna fix why my error here and because it's supposed to be a percentage move Taker fee is that, this is 5%, max loss is 4%, okay. But then what was the actual error? Well, the size must be a positive integer. Sorry, I, I don't know where I, what this is, but I, it doesn't say that. Size must be a positive numeric string. <laughs> oh God. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and figure this out here. It should be in our PL lick hmm. because it's 
says entering lit graph. So let's do that. Entering lit graph. And let's make sure that it's in the right one. I think this is the wrong one. Because remember, we made a new PL. Lots and lots of code, lots of code, lots of code. PNL, lit graph. PNL, close. I think I should start doing that. Okay, so here we're entering lit graph. PNL percentage is this. And wild target size chunk size don't need chunk size anymore get get out of here size of the string before the market order So that looks right to me. But we're in a buy right now. So side is long. Cancel all orders. Do I have size again maybe? Ask size. Let's read this error a little better. So this would be on line 591 line 10 in PL close 1101 place order. Oh, it's down here because it's probably a profitable one. I don't know. Size is a string. value of 0, 0.0 okay so it's just getting zero somehow so when we pass in the limit order for some reason it's passing in zero I dream that grab well it's we're not doing a limit order we're doing a market order So the size of the market order here needs it shows a zero. We're trying to pass in a zero right now. And the question is, is why? Why would we pass in a zero right there? Or why does it? So I'm gonna make this a little bigger. Let's open this up a bit. And let's go to PL lit graph. PNL, sheesh. PNL, lick. Uh, let's do lick. Okay, that's where it's called at. Oh, I'm getting rocked on this position, by the way, but that's okay. Like twenty dollars. I would pay twenty dollars just to be here with you. So while P and L percentage is bigger than the size. Oh, it's because I get the position size. That's fine though. This should get the position size and our position size is 0 0.01 down nine cents. And then here we 
we get the ask size. We'll get the size again here. If size of float is smaller than bid size, then size equals size. Otherwise, size equals size. And then size equals a float of the size, absolute number of the size, round of the size. Ha ha. Okay, so that was there. I believe. I believe I can fly. All right, so this should get us out now. Oh, but I didn't do it for the other ones. Might not work. Yep, it didn't work because I didn't do it for these ones down here. Okay, so now in code we trust. Because I rounded it, I rounded it to one. Okay, it got us up, it filled. Okay, and then it failed because we are out of position, but that's okay because that will, that breaks and then gets back in. So my question is this. Our target PL was 5%. Our max loss was 4.5%. And our PL right now was negative 0.36. So this just means our max loss is messed up because the max loss should be negative because that shouldn't have got us out because our, our loss was supposed to be 4%. So let's make this a negative. That's it. That's all. We Gucci. This is, we're killing it. We're killing it. Holla if you hear me. Throw down what you're working on below and you get entered to win a $500 USDC just by subscribing and let me know below. So now this should not get us out of the position because now it knows it's negative. Dang, I love this stuff so much. Already in position, canceling all orders. Woohoo! We are Gucci now. So now we can enter and exit programmatically forever. And to prove that, I want to close this position. This should put our bids and asks in good places. There we go. Boom, boom. It puts the bid, the ask, as you can see here. And now let's just wait for it. I want to see how it runs. And then I'm going to let this run for, um, for today at least. And there's probably going to be things that pop up, you know, this is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. Now we can adjust things in order to, I'm going to write some notes up here because I know I'm just talking to talking to you, but I want to explain it for both of us, you and I to do today. Update done. Done. done and the answer to this was I'm maker in and take her out alpha okay you can see it's just gonna reset the orders over and over again I think to do let's put a to-do list uh, to do only reset orders if not already there, if different from now so we're just resetting the bids and ask this is beautiful this is a market maker for sure um i don't care what anybody says this is how i'm building it at least so i'm happy i was able to show it to you 
and uh it's even cooler that this is all free on youtube so if you do like this stuff just let me know below let me know what you want to see next in order to enter that giveaway all you got to do is uh subscribe and let me know what you're working on and then if you want me to teach you this stuff i teach it all inside of my boot camp that's where i actually teach things right now i'm just working you know this is something that was on my whiteboard i needed to build so i built it today and it took a while but i gave it all here for you for free on youtube and if you want to learn more you can join the boot camp there's a link for that below you get access to discord and all that good stuff i can tweak and test with the SDZ limit and time frames to make it more or less mm, tight. I don't know. I think that's good though. So, what I'm going to do here is go set this up on my trading computer. I'm gonna use some size and uh, I'm excited. I'm very excited because this is gonna be epic. I'm gonna think of some more ideas too. I have like a ton of ideas on my board and I wanna do some stuff with like order blocks and stuff. Um, Add in order books, blocks, whatever you want to see next, let me know. My whiteboard is so long. There's so much stuff there. And yeah, this is super dope. I'm super excited that I was able to bring this to you. Let me know if you have any questions. I'm here for you. Have an amazing day. Check you out in the bootcamp, Discord, all that good stuff. Peace.